And now to Kano State, where the state government, through the Commissioner of Information, Mohamed Garba, said the scores of deaths in recent days were unrelated with the dreaded coronavirus. But it also quickly acknowledged it was jumping to conclusion by stating that the health ministry is probing the rise in deaths in that state. According to the statement, reports from the ministry have shown that most of the deaths were caused by complications arising from hypertension, diabetes, meningitis, and acute malaria. Governor Abdullahi Umar Ganduje is anxiously waiting for the final report so as to take necessary action, the statement added. And joining us live uh, via telephone is the Commissioner for Information, Kano State, Mohamed Garba. Good morning, Mr. Commissioner. Morning. And good to have you. Uh, can you quickly bring us up to speed with what is going on in Kano State? Well, I, I think the situation in Kano is uh, a little bit calm especially with regards to the issue of the increasing death. Um, the, governor, the governor has directed that the Ministry of Health to ensure thorough investigation. We are expecting their report either Wednesday or Thursday. They are tracing the relations and family of those who died and uh, I believe that they are looking at the symptoms and then they will eventually do their analysis as health practitioners and then eventually, eventually they will send their reports uh, to us. And I'm also aware that the NCDC, they are also concerned about it. They have already sent about two people that will work hand in hand with the health officials in Kano to ensure that whatever are the causes of the death uh, is being investigated. And then the advice that will be given to the state government in terms of preventive. Yeah. So, so I think the situation is okay. People are calm and uh, things are going according to expectation. Kano is already on lockdown, and uh, people are really abiding by the lockdown order. Hmm. M Mr. Commissioner, is, is it rather a coincidence uh, that, um, you know, the number of deaths is unrelated to COVID-19, as according to your statement, but uh, it's uh, attributed to the rise in, uh, as a result rather of meningitis, of uh, acute uh, diabetes, diabetes and acute malaria. How come we have this case of almost um, these things happening at the same time? Is this such a coincidence or how did we arrive at that? Well, I think the, the health personnel, they have already explained to us that normally this time of the year, Kano is extremely very hot. I think yesterday is about 42, 43. And uh, normally every year there are cases like this. People with complications actually find it very difficult to cope with the weather. And then secondly, uh, there are other related uh, illness, as we mentioned in our release. Honestly, I want to believe that uh, it is coincidence, but whatever it is, as I said, I'm not a medical personnel. We, we try to explain what we got from the Ministry of Health, but whatever it is, the Ministry of Health believes that uh, it is not related, but they are really making further investigation so that whatever it is, uh, they will be able to tell the state government and to make it open for people to know. Hmm. Mr. Commissioner, there were very worrying uh, images that filtered through over the weekend or, you know, before then on social media, one of which was, you know, an individual who was washing his hands with water and drinking the same water, dismissing the fact that coronavirus is real. A second was pictures of, you know, purported vaccines for coronavirus that is on sale in Kano State. Uh, these are really worrying. Uh, the question is, are people aware how serious, what is the level of sensitization for the people, the Kano indigents, to know that uh, we are in a situation? Well, I, I think for the vaccine, we were indeed very, we, are, we were really surprised that even the issue was raised 
by the Honorable Minister of uh, Information. Personally, I have not seen anybody who has seen the vaccine, in quote. Even the governor was really surprised because we tried to find out where is the location, where are they selling the vaccine in Kano. Believe you me, the first time was we saw it was when the minister was addressing our colleagues in the media. We are not aware of it. We have not seen anywhere. And, and it was really surprising. And I want to believe that uh, it is not in Kano. Because Kano is locked down, as I said. So it's very, very difficult to even find where people will have such a vaccine and be sold to the people. And then secondly, the video you are talking about is not from Kano. It doesn't matter because one speaks Hausa and then people will tend to believe that whatever it is in the social media that has to do with language, mm -hmm. then it's, associ it's associated with Kano people. No, no, no. Uh, it is not from Kano, I believe, because we have uh, investigated we try to find out through the security agencies so that he will be arrested. But unfortunately, we have not gotten one. Mm -hmm. In terms of sensitization, I want to assure you that the sensitization is very, very high. We are doing it in so many ways. Apart from the media, that is very consistent. We have more than 12 radio stations in Kano. And we have engaged virtually all the radio stations. I have had uh, quite a number of individuals and organizations that have also sponsored a lot of jingles and other programs that has to do with sensitization. And even the media organization themselves, they have initiated quite a number of, uh, pro of programs that will further sensitize the people of the state. And then at the level of the state, the COVID committee in Kano, we have engaged traditional rulers, the village head, uh, among the others, the district head. They are part of the, the, the committee. And, and we are doing every possible to ensure that uh, our mobilization and sensitization goes down to the grassroots. Mm -hmm. So I think in terms of sensitization, uh, we are doing a lot. We are mobilizing the people to know the effect of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And I think people are gradually understanding. Even those who don't even believe initially that this disease uh, exists, with the high level of sensitization we have done so far, I want to believe that uh, they are now well sensitized and they are doing everything possible, especially in the area of preventive, washing hands with soap and water, social distances, and then the use of uh, uh, sanitizer, among other preventive measures. Commissioner, we appreciate the fact that you're taking time to explain and making clarifications in certain gray areas. But we want you to also allay the fears on, you know, again, uh, the functionality of NCDC in Kano. Uh, we know that uh, World Health has also deployed some people to help out. But how functional is NCDC in Kano, just for our own clarity? Well, I think they are doing their best. You know, the issue of uh, COVID-19 is a challenge to everybody all over the world. Uh, there are challenges, there are problems. Even countries that are more developed with more facilities than Africa, they still have challenges bearing in mind what is happening in US, in UK, among other countries. So, of course, there are challenges, as I said, especially with the center here in Kano, uh, it was, when it was uh, established, started working very well. Uh, but unfortunately, when one of the staff was infected, the center had to be closed, mm -hmm. and then they have to fumigate it before they can resume operation. And we were made to understand that that will take about 74 hours. 
and then the issue of scarcity of test kits. Test kits are provided by NCDC. Uh, we have not had enough. We used to get uh, about 500, 200, 300. Commissioner, I must, unfortunately, and, and, and I have to... And bearing in mind the number of people in Kano, you okay. realize that that is not enough. So uh, when there is scarcity, then there is a problem of testing. Mm -hmm. I'll let, you, thank God that you, I'll let you go now, Commissioner. That. This is all that we can take in the interest of time. Thank you so very right. much, Mohamed Garba. Right, uh, and please yeah, do sir. stay safe where you are, sir. Thank you. Yeah.